And good evening, everyone. Good evening to our USANA Philippines. And I will be, I would like to be the very first to greet you. Merry Christmas, Dahil. This is the first day of December. So Merry Christmas, everyone. No? Feel na feel na natin ng Pasko. Yeah. And so, uh, of course, um, even if uh, patapos na ang taon, we will still continue to... Um, to give you um trainings no yung ating online business series. every uh, every mondays uh, every tuesdays wednesdays and thursdays so uh we will still continue this one and um um this week no um we will have uh, for this uh, for today for this evening we will have um our series for this week is the time management series of course our speaker for tonight is one of USANA Philippines Ruby Director and uh, Isagani Marquina Jr. And he is going to share to you the time management series, of course, be, uh, to be specific, time management definition and importance. All right. So before that, no, before um, we let our speaker um, start his uh, talk or sharing this afternoon or this evening, um, let me just share with you some uh, announcements. And uh, before that, let me also introduce myself. My name is Michelle Arcansalin. I am the sales manager of USANA Philippines, and I am based here in Davao office. So I hope everybody is doing well right now. Pwede ba nating malaman sa chat box kung uh, nasaan kayo, no? Sa Pilipinas o sa buong mundo ngay o sa world ngayon. Ayan, nasa Makati, Hagonoy, Cebu, Singapore. Kainta, we have from QC, we have from Davao, Cagayan de Oro. So, um, Lanao, Abu Dhabi, all right? So, talagang we are really global, no? Yung ating online business series. Every 6 p.m. is really global. And I hope uh, inaabangan din ito ng mga associates natin or USANA family natin to get, uh, for them to get some uh, um, learnings about our uh, learnings na share ng ating speakers. All right, so uh, for this week, let me just give you a sneak peek of what's going to be the online business series this week. Of course, we will have time management series. Now, we will be starting with the definition and importance of time management, of course, by uh, um, Isagani Marquina Jr. And tomorrow, Wednesday, we will have the key elements of time management. 
Of course, that will be shared to us by our executive goal director, Joseph Costello. And on Thursday at 6 p.m., the same time, we'll have Time is Your your Enemy. Money. Uh, time is your enemy. You have to manage it. Of course, by our, uh, by our uh, um, executive goal director, Dr. Michelle Agustino. Tamang-tama, no? Dahil uh, very busy, doctor siya. So, uh, um, for those who are employed or in the medical field, they are very busy. A lot. There are a lot of things that you're going to learn from Dr. Michelle. Ayan. So, uh, do not forget, also, we have this online um, sustaining momentum series. No, Alam natin ito, this happens every other Thursday. But since patapos na yung uh, malapit na tayo, malapit na matapos ang December, then we will um, have it uh, this week, no, December 3. So our topic for this week's sustaining momentum series 2020 is about coaching and mentoring. Of course, that's... Uh, Featuring uh, Robert Rances, uh, USANA's Executive One Star Diamond Director, back to back with Raj Sogi, no Executive Two Star Diamond Director. So you have to watch out for these guys. That's going to be on December three. We will start at ten o'clock in the morning. No, that's ten to twelve. But if you were not, uh, if you will not be able to join via Zoom, we are um, live via FB. No, if you haven't uh, joined the Sustaining Momentum um, Series 2020 na closed FB group, you have to um, you have to join that group so you can uh, watch no, or you can uh, attend this tr- very um, important training that we're going to have on Thursday. Ayan. So next is save the date. Of course, we are very excited no for our USANA Grand Celebration. This is going to be on February seven. No, so uh, please uh, mark your calendar. No, free your schedule on that day. This is going to be a virtual, another virtual event that we're going to have. So, the the theme or the title of our grand celebration is scaling new heights. Okay, the USANA twenty twenty one grand celebration of virtual events. So we're already. Um, starting to uh, sell tickets, no? Uh, we're already starting to sell tickets. Of course, at 350, you can buy a single ticket at 350. And um, 10 plus 1, we have the bundle at 3,500. So tickets are available online and over the counter. And a unique code will be emailed to you um, one week before the event. So you have to make sure that uh, your email address is active. No, and uh, because we are going to uh, email the codes, no, just like our virtual event last October, we will email the codes to your email address. Okay, um, very important yung email address and yung contact number. So one code is good for one device only. So watch out for this. You start buying your tickets now. Okay, and ongoing promotion is a uh, ongoing promotion. So. We are giving a free business development system or BDS. If you are currently a preferred consultant and you want to convert to an associate or uh, have a business center, no, you can. You have the, the chance to get a free business development system after enrollment. So all registered preferred consultants as of November 14 may qualify. So this promo uh, will run no, uh, already started last November 4, 15 and will run until January 2 of 2021. So how are you going to convert no, if you're a preferred consultant? Now, let me just share with you some uh, ideas. No, If you're a preferred consultant, then you want to convert to uh, an associate or uh, to activate a business center, you have to terminate your preferred consultant account. You have to terminate that before you can enroll as an associate. You can enroll as an associate right after your termination if you have the same sponsor. But if you do not have, if you will have um, other sponsor or uh, meron kang ibang uh, um, papasukang um, or, uh, line or upline, iba yung magiging sponsor mo, then you, ha- you, can, uh, you have to wait for 30 days for you to be enrolled as an associate. All right? I hope uh, malinaw po yun. And um, talking about um, deadlines... We already have uh, concluded our leadership summit. No, we have already concluded our leadership summit. Two 
um, uh, to uh, Tokyo, Japan. And now we have a new leadership summit destination and watch this. Yeah, and that's the leadership summit Maldives in 2021. So I hope uh, um, you are starting to prepare to qualify for this leadership summit. If you have questions and clarifications, the mechanics are available at the hub and also you can approach no, your sales managers, Joyce in uh, Luzon and Metro Manila, Ivy in Visayas and uh, Cebu, and of course, yours truly for Mindanao and Davao. So this, uh, re, um, the Maldives will run, also already started, no? Um, December 4 cut off. This is the first week for you to qualify for the Maldives Leadership Incentive Trip. And this will run until November 28th of 2021. All right, and of course, like what I have uh, been now uh, mentioning last uh, uh, earlier, no, this is going to be our last four weeks. No, for number one, go for growth Boracay trip in 2021, and of course, the Sri Lanka, no, USANA Asia Pacific growth incentive trip in Sri Lanka. So there, we have still, uh, we have last four weeks for us to really um uh, to qualify for this incentive trip, and of course growth for our USANA business. And moving on to our main event, no? Um, so, pasensya na maraming announcement, all right? So, uh, I know excited kayong lahat to hear about uh, the training this evening by our speaker. But before that, let me just introduce him to you, all right? So, our speaker for this evening um, is a cum laude, no? Valedictorian of the Maritime Academy of Asian and the Pacific, Batch 2007. All right, he's the chairman of the Honor Board Committee, one of the 10 outstanding students of the Philippines Batch 2007 in Region 3. He, um, he had received a lot of awards, conduct awardee, professional subject awardee, board top notcher, and the first Filipino chief officer in the largest ship in the world at the age of 29. Ayan, so uh, yan yung uh, before, no, Yusana. Now, with Yusana, he is a premier platinum pay setter. He also qualified to the Leadership Summit Asian Cruise in 2019. He also joined the Lifestyle Travel Incentive 2019 in Hanoi, Vietnam. Asia Pacific Growth um, 2019 Budapest Qualifier Level 2. And of course, nasa Level 2 na po siya. Um, Asia Pacific Growth 2020 Sri Lanka Qualifier, Taiwan Travel Incentive Qualifier 4-5. Ayan, so 4-5 siya, no? Multiple Trimestral Growth Qualifier in 2017 and 2019. So, 2 million peso achiever in 2019 and already 3 million peso achiever in 2020. So, guys, let us all send our virtual cup to our speaker for this evening, Yusana's Ruby Director, Isagani Martina Jr. Good evening, Isagani. Hello. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, yes. po. Yes. Ayan, take it away, Isagani. Ayan, okay, ma'am. Thank you, po. Thank you, ma'am, Michelle, for that wonderful introduction. So, um, let me just first share my screen so we can start po, no? So, pwede po ba nating i-practice yung mga typing skills natin? Kindly type one nga po kung ready na po tayo mag-start ng ating training. Ayan, so, alam ko, ready and ready na tayo. So, ang aking pong topic for this for tonight is about time management. So, I was asked by, by the USANA Corporate to discuss time management because, uh, as we all know, this is actually very important in our USANA business. So, first, let's define time management. So, time management is a myth. Diba? Simula pa lang... <laughs> It's a myth po, no? Bakit it's a myth? Bakit? Ang hirap po kasing i-manage ng isang bagay na wala tayong control. Ang oras po, tatakbo yan kahit wala tayong gawin. Di ba po? Napakahirap po i-control yung isang bagay na hindi naman natin kayang i-manage, di ba? So, time management, what I would like to, to impart to you is a different kind of perspective when it comes to time management. So, let, let us see this time management as task management. So task management, yan. I would define task management. Ako po, I'm a firm believer of, of simplicity. So instead of uh, giving you an elaborate and flamboyant 
um, definition I can get from the internet, I'll give you a, one myself. So task management is something na intentional po nating pipiliin yung kung ano man yung dapat na meron tayo sa araw na yon. So it's intentionally choosing what occupies your day. As simple as that. Yan na po yung task management. You will intentionally choose what occupies your day. Hour after hour, day after day, and week after week. And you should have the final say on what happens to your day. Kasi after all, we're all conscious beings, di ba po? And we live in a free world. So basically, we should have the freedom to actually choose what happens to your day. And um, if you're doing a part-time, then actually there's something I will discuss later on. But ang, ang point po natin dito, when it comes to actually time management or task management, kailangan tayo po yung magiging intentional on what we do with our day. So, so these two resources, yan, time and energy, ito pong dalawang to, this is, these two resources are actually finite. Diba? They are limited. They are limited, hindi po tayo superman, na hindi po tayo napapagod. Diba? So, limitado po yung dalawang resources na yan. So, what we need to do is actually invest yung time and energy natin on those tasks na magkakaroon ng mas malaking impact dun sa ating Yusana business. So time and energy, those are limited. Um, hindi po tayo only dyan. So kailangan very, very um, conscious po tayo kung saan natin sila nilalagay. No? Okay. So ito pong mga tao na to, I'll give you an example of all those people. Bill Gates, si Jack Ma, Jeff Bezos, Ayala de Zubel, Henry C., ako, and ikaw, lahat po tayo 24 hours lang ang meron. Tama po ba? Wala po dyan na may 25 hours. Lahat po tayo 24 hours lang. So basically, yun. Yeah. Ayan, Isagani, please try to unmute. Ayan. Okay. Ayan, thank you po. Ayan. <laughs> so, I try to unmute uh, everyone eh, para, para hindi ka ma-distract. Okay, thank you ma'am. Thank you so much. So okay, so let me get back to this uh, training. So lahat po ng tao na nakita nyo sa screen, that includes me and you, lahat po tayo 24 hours lang. So kahit po si Bill Gates at si Jeff Bezos, kahit gano'n po sila kayaman, wala po silang 25. And even though they can probably afford, wala po silang tindahan na pwedeng pagbilan ng extra R, ba? So basically, lahat po ng tao, we all have the same 24 hours lang meron po tayo. And that is fixed, wala po tayong magagawa dyan. So ang tanong po is this, why is it that yung mga tao na nakita nyo sa screen magkakaiba ng financial situations? Bakit po magkaiba tayo ng financial situation nila Bill Gates? At di ba po mga nasa screen? It is probably because yung oras po nila, binigay nila on a different kind of tasks. Di ba po? They manage their tasks differently on how we did it. That is why yung financial situations natin is magkakaiba sa mga tao na yan. Tama? So okay. So based up, a lot of people ask me, gano daw ka-importante yung time management? <laughs> basically, ito ganito lang po kasimple talaga yan. Ang time management po or task management is basically a question whether you will get your dreams or not. Gano'n talaga sila. So, if your dreams are important to you, then you better give importance to managing your day, to managing the tasks that occupies your day, or to manage your time. Di ba po? Kung baga, kung importante sa yung mga pangarap mo sa buhay, kailangan bigyan din natin ng importance yung management natin ng oras natin. Okay, this is how I would like you to see task management. As you can see, yung 1 to 24 slots po na yan, fix na po yan. Tama? Wala na po tayong magagawa dyan. Again, fix na po yan. And those blue things, task, mga task po yan, around it, are the tasks that we can actually do on a day. So yan po, sobrang dami po yan, di ba? Ang point po dito, hindi po natin sila pwedeng isaksak lahat dyan sa 24. Tama po ba? So dito po, kailangan po kayong mamili consciously so, intentional nyo pong pipiliin kung ano yung ilalagay nyo on a certain slot. Look at it as a 24-slot period. So, if you put 
for example, if you put Netflix, di ba? If you put Netflix on two slots, it will actually occupy a slot that should have been given to something, to a task na mas malaki yung impact sa business mo. Tama? So, hindi pwedeng pagpapatong-patong natin yan lahat, di ba? Again, meron lang po tayong 24 slots and choice po talaga natin kung ano ba yung ilalagay mo sa 24 hours mo. Actually, iyan po yung talagang pinakasamari ng ating training for tonight. You have to intentionally choose. Although marami po dyan, di ba? For example, go, getting the groceries, that is something na kung kaya mo siyang i-delegate, di ba? That better. Pero kung mag-isa lang tayo sa bahay, then that's something that we should actually still do. Pero at least limit, mamaya po i-discuss din natin yan kung ano yung mga dapat nating i-prioritize. No? Pero ang gusto ko lang po talagang ma-emphasize ma ma dito is limited po yung 24 hours. Choice po talaga natin dapat piliin po natin kung ano ba yung ilalagay natin doon. Kasi hindi pwedeng mag-occupy ng same slot yung two different tasks. So yan, kailangan po mamili tayo, no? Yan. And dapat we prioritize tasks, sabi ko nga po kanina, no? Kasi limited po yung time, dapat we need to prioritize which task yung pipiliin natin that will have the most impact sa business natin. So part-time, ayan, Um, type 1 nga po para sa mga part-timers na na-attendees natin. Ayan, alam ko po maraming part-timers. Bakit? Ang Yusana business po is designed to be done part-time sa simula. So part-timers po talaga yung mga karamihan na nagsisimula dito sa business. No? So part-timers, don't worry. Your, your key dito sa business na to is focus and consistency. So dapat since medyo limited lang yung time that you can give to your Yusana business, dapat really focused ka sa kung ano yung dapat mong ma-achieve on that specific hour and consistent over time. So dapat hindi naman kailangan talaga na maraming masyadong oras. Kailangan alam mo lang yung dapat mong ma-accomplish on that specific hour and consistent ka lang all throughout the year. So for example, Let me give you a rough calculation. For example, para sa mga part-timers po dito sa attendees, is it possible for you to give 2 hours and 45 minutes of, you, uh, of your time per day sa Yusana Business natin? Type nyo nga po yung sagot nyo sa screen. Ayan. So, possible po yan, no? If we work 8 hours and we sleep 8 hours and we have 8 hours, pwedeng biyahe yung, four, yung 3 to 4 hours doon, di ba? So we still have this to actually pwede pa. So 2 hours and I'll explain why, di ba? Bakit 2 hours and 45 minutes? So for example, on a, every day, consistently, you can only give 2 hours and 45 minutes of your time to you sana, to you sana business mo. 2.75 hours times 365 days in, in a year times 10 years. Tanong, um, meron po ba dito um, nakakalam sa na, mga attendees kung ilang oras daw po yung kailangan nating i-invest to master a skill? Ilang hours po? Ilang hours po ba dapat? Ten thousand hours. Roughly, 10,000 hours po yan pag kinumpute natin sa calculator. So, meaning, if we actually give 2 hours and 45 minutes per day and can do it consistently in a span of 10 years, you will actually given, have given Yusana Business 10,000 hours of your time. And this is the question. Can you imagine what 10,000 Yusana hours can give? Na-imagine niyo po ba kung ano yung kayang mabigay ng Yusana sa inyo if you will actually give 10,000 hours of, of your time to this business? And let's translate it into year, one year and two months. Now, a lot of, in, a lot of cases already na nakita natin na pwede, pwede palang mag-gold mag, mag in one year. Pwede palang mag-ruby in one year. Pwede nga mag-diamond in one year eh. Pero bakit sila ganun kabilis? Maybe, probably, mas madaming oras yung talagang binigay nila even from the, starting from day one. So this is actually what we need to realize na pwede pala eh. Yun nga lang, kailangan mo talagang ibigay yung 100% attention mo on that specific set of hours sa iyo sana business mo. Di ba? Ang dami na nating nakikitang cases na ganyan that it's really possible. So bakit pa natin pagdududahan, di ba? Sometimes it's it's very frustrating kasi na 
maliliit lang na hours na bibigay natin tapos wala tayong nakikitang results. It is probably because baka two weeks mo palang ginagawa. Baka two weeks ka palang na two hours and two hours per day. Do that for the next 10 years. Then that's the time that you will realize ang laki ng difference. Diba? Sabi nga ni, ni idol natin na Tony Robbins, we usually underestimate what we can think we can accomplish in a year. Pero we underestimate what we can accomplish in a, in a decade. Diba? Minsan kasi, naisip natin, gagawin ko lahat to in a year. Minsan, hindi natin nakakaya kasi we, we put so much in it. Pero, mas maganda kasi yung micro effort and do and, and done consistently over time. Mas malaki yung consistency nun, mas malaki yung effect nun, mas malaki yung effect nun sa result natin sa iyo sana. Kesa naman mag ka ng two weeks, tapos magpahinga ka ng three months. Di ba? Pero pag gagawin mo yung Yusana consistently, kahit 2 hours, 3 hours lang per day, pero consistently every single day, mas malaki yung effect doon sa business natin. Okay. So sadly, there is no fixed formula on a, ta- on a daily list of tasks that we can do sa-, sa business natin. It will mainly depend on the this stage na nasan ka man sa Yusana business mo. So tayo pong lahat dito sa Yusana business, so Yusana journey natin, we are on the separate actual separate stages dito sa Yusana journey natin. So first, probably marami po dito yung nasa learning stage. Ayan, type 2 nga po para sa mga less than 3 months pa lang. Less than 3 months of doing the business. Ayan. So nasa learning stage, how will you know if you're the learning stage? Dito dito yung time na kailangan, ito yung time na hindi mo pa alam gawin yung mga yung mga skills. Ito yung inaaral mo pa kung paano mag-present. Ito yung inaaral mo pa kung paano mag-invite. Ito yung inaaral mo pa kung paano mag-closing, kung paano mag-set up ng auto order, kung paano mag 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 NDO. This is the learning stage. So pag nandito ka pa na stage, I would suggest you invest majority of your time, majority of your time into learning. Diba? So kung for example, kung walang schedule na for example, this training. So this is actually 1 hour of training, diba? So congratulations, you are already investing in your sana business. So for example, walang naka-schedule na training, then request a one-on-one coaching session with your upline, diba? Or kung hindi pwede sa upline, then self-educate. Mag magbasa ka ng libro, magmanood ka ng YouTube, mag- makinig ka ng podcast mag piso piso ka with other lines, nothing is actually stopping you from doing that, di ba? Wala namang pumipigil sa atin on actually investing in learning eh. Minsan kasi tayo lang talaga yung medyo pumipigil sa sarili natin. So if you're on the learning stage, invest majority of your time in learning the the, the, the basic of the skills sa iyo sana. Okay, for example, nandun ka naman sa working stage. Working stage meaning you already know how to do the basic. Meaning, kaya mo na mag-invite, kaya mo na mag-present, kaya mo na mag-closing, kaya mo na mag-handle objection, kaya mo na mag-enroll, kaya mo na mag-NDO, and kaya mo na lahat gawin yung kahit hindi mo pa ka, kahit hindi ka pa masyadong magaling. ba? Kahit hindi ka pa masyadong magaling, that's all right. As long as you already know how to do the basic. Now, kung nandito ka sa stage na to, again, majority of your time would actually be more productive on doing actual work. Kung marunong ka na mag-present, mag-present ka na mag-present. Diba? Mag-invite ka na mag-invite, mag-NDO ka na mag-NDO. Do the ha- this is actually the time for you to hustle. Hustle talagang, um, guys, 2018 was my building years. Just to give you a glimpse, when you say you're in the building phase of your business, Sunday was actually what I consider as my day off. Sunday. When I say day off, that means I have three presentations. Guys, three presentations in a day, that is what I consider as my day off. Iyon yung working stage ko before. So guys, dito talaga, kapag natutunan mo na yung basic, start doing it. It doesn't matter kung, kung mataas, medyo mataas pa yung rejection rate mo, medyo mababa pa yung batting average mo, no? It doesn't matter. As long as you're doing the, the skills, gagaling ka at gagaling ka over time. Tama? For example, if you're do if you're if you're actually presenting na, pag nagpe-present ka na, pwedeng sa simula hindi ka pa magaling mag-present. Pero if you do that for the next 3 months, present ka lang ng present, pwedeng by the third month mataas na yung batting average mo. Bakit? Kasi yung last 3 months practice ka ng practice. 
guys, it it's really about practicing the skills. Learn the basic. Kapag marunong ka nang gawin siya, gawin mo na siya nang gawin. And for example, for those who are already gold and above, leading stage, kapag meron ka nang um, uh, organization, as, may, as small as it may be, majority of your time, I think, will be much more productive kapag binigay mo siya in duplication. Diba? If you will actually find rising leaders on your organization and duplicate yourself, meaning ipapasa mo sa kanya kung ano yung alam mo, that would actually give a lot more impact on your organization than doing the actual work. Pero syempre, majority pa din. So hindi pa rin naman dahil na ruby ka na or hindi ka na nagpe-present, di ba? <laughs> or hindi ka na nagbe-build. So basically, dapat ginagawa mo pa rin siya. Yun nga lang, majority of your time should be spent on duplication. So actually, if you ask me, if you ask me, because like I said, we need to prioritize, no? Kasi 24 hours lang. If you ask me, if I will be given a chance to choose between um, training a downline, yung mag one on one ko yung sobrang eager na downline on how to learn how to present or how to learn a certain skill or makapag-present sa isang sobrang quality na prospect. Yung almost sure na na magpe-pay in. So guys, if you ask me, I will choose training my very eager downline. Bakit? Nasa leading stage, kumbaga, mas, mas, magi, mas malaki yung magiging impact noon sa business organization ko if I will be able to duplicate myself with one leader. Bakit? I may lose that prospect. Pwedeng ma- ma- mawala siya sa akin. Pero if I will be able to duplicate myself with one more, kapag dalawa na kaming marunong gumawa ng business, kapag dalawa kami sabay gumawa, I will get two. Instead of just getting one, and then next time, ako pa rin ulit yung gagalaw. Di ba? It is actually better to duplicate yourself kapag kaya mo na. No? Okay. So number one, so di, nandito na tayo sa tips, no? So have a schedule. So guys, um, type type nyo nga yung, ano, yung sagot nyo. Type one if you actually can agree, no? Have you ever experienced a certain day na sobrang busy ka, as in sobrang busy, looking back at your day, sobrang busy ka, sobrang dami mong ginawa, pero wala kang production, pero walang output. Meron po bang naka-experience na nandito? na sobrang busy mo sa buong araw pero wala ka namang output, di ba? So actually this is something that you can the, the, uh, you can learn from. It's not enough to be busy the whole day. It's not enough na may, na busy ka. Dapat may production or output. And this is actually how you can fix that, no? Okay. So get yourself a small notebook. So this is something I urge or actually I uh, I I require <laughs> sa line ko sa mga leaders ko required sila na magkaroon ng small notebook on where they will actually put a list of tasks that they need to do the following day. Okay. So the night before, write down a list of things you want to accomplish the next day. Kumbaga, ilista mo dyan kung ano yung mga dapat mong matapos. Excuse me. Ilista mo yung mga dapat mong matapos the following day. Remember, you need to prioritize. 24 hours lang meron ka tomorrow. So, kailangan i-prioritize mo yung kailangan mo matapos. Okay. I'm I'm also a firm believer of uh, immediate application. So, we will, we'll, I, I will suggest to have a two-minute activity, two-minute workshop. So, for two minutes, get a piece of paper. So, for two minutes, write down at least five things that you want to accomplish the next day. It doesn't matter kung saan mo siya masulat. The thing here is para ma-jumpstart mo na yung habit. Ma-jumpstart mo na yung habit na ito yung mga kailangan kong matapos tomorrow. Meaning, I'm being intentional of how my tomorrow will look like. Okay? So I'll give you two minutes to write down minimum five tasks na you want to accomplish the next day. And your time starts now. Okay. While you're writing, I'll I'll try to read yung mga chats.
One more minute. Kasi po, I believe that if we just attend the training and then hindi naman natin din i-apply, then it's as if we don't really attend the training. So it's better to actually apply what you already learned, write down the things that you want to accomplish tomorrow. It doesn't matter kung kulang pa siya. Ang importante, ma-jumpstart mo na, masimulan mo na, and then after this training, tonight, before you go to sleep, kumpletuhin mo siya. Really think of the things that kailangan mo matapos tomorrow. Okay, so I guess your two minutes is up. You can continue that tonight bago kayo matulog. Consci consciously think of the things na kailangan mo matapos tomorrow. Kasi it's madali kasing makalimutan natin, di ba? Of all the things that are happening uh, during the day, sobrang daling makalimutan. Ay, si ganito pala umu-order. Ay, si ganito pala kailangan ko i-follow up. Ay, si ganito pala ganito kailangan ko siyang i-invite in pa. Sabi niya kasi i-follow up ko siya that day. Kumbaga, if you're not gonna write it down, it's very easy to forget things, di ba? Okay, now, looking at your list, kapag tapos mo na siyang ilista, then it's time for you to ask yourself. Kasi no one can actually tell you what to do. This is not an employment. This is a business. So actually, no one can actually tell you na kailangan mo gawin to, kailangan mo gawin yan. This is, that is employment. So this is a business. So basically, ikaw lang yung makakapagsabi, makakasagot sa tanong na to. Is this enough for me to reach my goals? Ikaw lang yung makakapagsabi niyan. So at least if you act, you, you need to be honest with yourself. Diba? You need to be honest with the efforts you're giving to you sana para maging honest din yung you sana sa pagbigay sa iyo ng, diba, ng CVP mo. So you have to be honest in answering this. So if you think it's not enough, then dagdagan mo pa. If you think that's enough, then you can rest and with the peace of mind na bukas, you already know what to do. Okay. Dito nga sabi nga natin, di ba, you must be your strictest boss. Dapat ikaw yung pinaka-strict na boss there is sa business mo. Pero, on, 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 nung katambal noon, dapat ikaw din yung best performing mo na employee. Di ba? After all, this is your business eh. Kung baga, sabi nga natin, pala, sabi, palagi ko sinasabi na kinocompare ko siya sa employment. Na kung sa employment, sobra yung bigay natin na, na effort eh. Sobra yung bigay natin na commitment. This is our own personal business. So, dapat mas, mas mataas pa dun eh. Okay. Now, let's talk about habits. Actually, our goal here is to create a set of habits that will propel us to our dreams. Okay. So, let me first uh, define what is a habit. A habit is an acquired behavior pattern. Acquired meaning, parte na siya ng sistema mo. Regularly followed until it's become almost involuntar involuntarily. So, regularly followed, ibig sabihin araw-araw, parte na siya ng sistema mo na ginagawa mo araw-araw na parang hindi na kailangan ng effort. Diba? Involuntary na siya eh. Habit na siya. Kung baga, komportabling-komportable ka na na ginagawa mo siya araw-araw. To the point na hindi ka na komportable pag hindi mo siya nagawa. Diba? Okay. So actually, according to research, it will take an average of 66 days before you can actually, before a, hap, before a new behavior becomes an habit, becomes automatic. Okay, 66 days. Pero, again, for the purpose of this discussion, I would like to add a little more about my, my tidbit. Let's put it 13 weeks. Kasi actually, 66, medyo malapit na siya sa 13 weeks, di ba? 13 weeks. Pwede ba nating uh, tanongin yung mga uh, attendees natin, ano ba yung 13 weeks? What does 13 weeks means to our Yusana business? Ano ba yung mga bonuses or yung mga ano natin sa Yusana na may 13 weeks? Ayan, marami nag-chat. I think... Yes, tama, no? Leadership Summit at lahat po ng executive ranks, ang bilang po niyan ay 13 weeks. Why? Yusana Business is actually teaching us the very basic principle of any successful story. Na kailangan, bago kasi ka makapag-leadership summit, 13 weeks po yan. Ibig sabihin, 13 weeks of continuously doing what you have to do with your business. Ibig sabihin, kapag natapos mo yung leadership summit, ibig sabihin, talagang na-cultivate na mo na yung habit ng pag-iisana. 
Meaning, kapag nakapag-leadership summit ka na rin, ito po yung mga taong hindi na talaga humihinto yung income. Ito na yung talagang weekly na talaga. There is a design sa USANA compensation plan. Ito yung reason kung bakit lahat ng executive ranks 13 weeks din. Kaya din po, mas mahirap ang leadership summit kesa sa gold. Narealize nyo po ba yun? Bakit pag nag-gold ka, wala namang travel incentive, pero pag nag-leadership summit ka, may, may travel incentive, di ba? To think na ang gold, $1,000 per week. Pero ang leadership summit, $600 lang in average. Di ba? Kasi mas mahirap po yung leadership summit. Doon po kasi nakukultivate yung habits na kailangan in actually doing this business. So, yan. Wait lang po. So, actually, no one actually decides their own future. So, dito po, hindi naman talaga natin dinideside yung sarili nating future. What we decide on is the habits we actually cultivate. The habits that we have, yun po yung nagde-decide kung ano yung future natin. So, hindi po tayo nagde-decide ng future natin actually. Yung habits po natin. Although, yung habits natin, doon tayo may choice. Doon tayo may control. Yung habits yung kaya nating piliin. Yung future, habits po natin yung nag nag nagbimili doon. No? Yan. So, ito po yung mga non-negotiables. Why did I call it non-negotiables? Ito po yung mga bagay, ito po yung mga tasks na hindi po dapat mawala sa iyo sana business mo. No? Okay. Input activities, ito po yung activities that adds value to yourself. So example, training, self-education, reading, audiobooks, YouTube, and exercise. And output activities, ito po yung mga activities that adds value to others. Ito po yung seven skills of our Yusana business. Attend activities that produce points. Diba? Yung mga activities na produce ng points and business building. So, ito po. The more input activities you do, the better quality output you will perform. Okay, for example, if you will allot five hours in inviting, it's more important na mag-aral ka ng how to invite for the first three hours and then invite in the last two. Kesa naman, mag-invite ka ng walang training for the five, five hours, ang mangyari doon, ma mababa yung batting average mo, mas, ma mas madalas tayo mara-reject, mapafrustrate tayo, baka tumigil na tayo on the second hour. Tama? So it's better to just aralin mo muna kung paano siya gawin and then gawin mo siya on the last part. It's better to have more input activities, mas maganda yung magiging performance ng output activity mo. Okay. Ito din yung isang, isang tip na pwede ko mabigay sa inyo. First thing in the morning, you need to set your mind right. And you need to set your mindset right first thing in the morning. Ang ating pong main tool sa Yusana business natin ay our mind. Yung mindset po natin. No? Iyon po yung ating main Yusana tool. So tama lang, logic dictates na dapat ito po yung aayusin natin umaga pa lang. Tama? So, ito po yung mga bagay na pwede niyong gawin in the morning. Dream board, um, nilakihan ko po yung dream board. Bakit? Basically, your entire Yusana journey will revolve around your dream board. You have to be consistently reminded kung bakit mo gagawin yung buong araw na busy, na talagang walang pahinga, na talagang puro Yusana lang. You have to be consistently reminded kung bakit mo siya kailangan gawin, kung bakit mo kailangan pagdaanin yung proseso. It's very important to have a dream board. You need to be consistently reminded kung bakit mo siya gagawin. And for those who are actually um, religious or spiritual, prayer and quiet time actually helps in actually setting their mindset sa umaga pa lang. Yung iba naman, pwede naman yung gratitude notebook. It can be a combination of all or lahat, di ba? Pwede naman. Um, gratitude notebook, ito yung umaga pa lang, isusulat mo na kung ano yung thankful ka. Para ang, ang magiging mood mo sa buong araw is very good. Parang good mood ka agad, di ba? Kasi grateful ka eh, buong araw. So basically, mas maganda siyang gawing Yusana. Uh, maganda siyang gawin yung Yusana kapag ka good mood ka, di ba? So podcast, this is something nilagay ko sa umaga. Nag-airpods nag ako while I do my exercise. So di ba, two birds in one stone. Light exercise plus nakikinig pa ako ng podcast. And then, panig ako ng kondo. And then, magpa-play ako ng YouTube inspirational videos, di ba? While I'm preparing my breakfast or while actually eating, nagpe-play sa YouTube sila Jack Ma, sila, sila, ano pa? Yung iba pang mga 
ano dito sa YouTube, 'di ba? Naka, Naka-autoplay na kasi yan eh sa sa YouTube ko na video na na TV. So, para umaga pa lang, talagang na mindset ka na. So, you have to master the skill of self-motivation. This is a skill. So, kailangan skill. So, it's again, it's something na pwede mong ma-master, 'di ba? Pwede mo siyang ma-practice. Hindi kasi pwede na gagawin mo lang yung yusana mo every time na motivated ka. <laughs> Type 3 nga kung agree doon na hindi pwede na gagawin mo lang yung yusana every time na feel mo lang. Tama? Kasi kung gagawin mo lang yung yusana tuwing good mood ka lang, tuwing gusto mo lang siya gawin, eh wala pong mangyayari sa yusana business natin, di ba? You have to have to set up discipline na gagawin mo siya whether you feel like it or not. Plus, mas maganda na you can actually cultivate yung skill na self-motivation. Pagka medyo feeling down ka, dapat alam mo na yung gagawin kasi ikaw yung nakakakilala sa sarili mo eh. You know yourself well, so dapat ikaw yung nakakaalam kung paano mo i-motivate, what motivates you, dapat iyon yung, ikaw yung nakakaalam doon. That is why, pag ikaw, dapat dream board mo na, nasa tabi mo palagi. ba? Diba? Pag tingin mo dapat sa dream board mo, it's enough to motivate you to go through the day. Na- <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Kung yung dream board mo, hindi na siya effective, hindi ka na na-excite pag nakikita mo yung dream board mo, then it's time to make a new dream board. Ang purpose ng dream board dapat, ina-excite ka niyan. Okay. It's easier to have a great productive day if it started right, di ba? Okay. Uh, isa pang tip. Pag gising natin sa umaga, wag na wag po tayong, pu- wag na wag po natin kukulin yung phone natin at mag-start ka na agad mag-scroll. Bakit? You are exposing your mind, your main marketing or your main Uh, marketing tool sa iyo sana yung mind natin to a variable. Bakit? Pag scroll mo sa Facebook, pwedeng positive, pwedeng negative yung makikita mo. ba? Diba? Kung bagat, parang tumataya ka na agad. Eh kung positive yan, okay lang. Eh paano kung puro rants, kung puro political views, kung paano kung, ba diba, bad trip ka na umaga pa lang. So imagine, it will actually greatly affect your whole day kung umaga pa lang, bad trip ka na. ba? Diba? Affected na yung mindset mo. Meaning, kasi variable kasi siya, hindi mo alam kung ano makikita mo. So better yet, be intentional. Be intentional about your day. Umaga pa lang, puro positive na yung ilagay natin sa mind natin. That is why, nandun yung dream board, nandun yung podcast, nandun yung mga inspirational videos, di ba? Okay, exercise. Though we, we don't actually need to go through the benefits of exercise. Sobrang dami ng studies na nagpo-prove niyan. Not only physically, mentally, yung effect niyan sa mood. Lahat na po nandiyan na yung effects ng exercise. So please, it doesn't actually have to be a two-hour gym session. Kahit 15 to 30 minutes lang po yan na, 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 na home exercise, it's ang habo lang po natin dito is yung yung talagang effect niya sa ano natin sa mood sa sa physical natin. We don't actually need to have a yung bodybuilding na talaga na sobrang gan, laki ng katawan. So dito kailangan lang natin yung cardiovascular system natin, okay? So para talagang magawa natin yung business, no? So this is actually one of the things na hindi rin pwedeng mawala sa araw mo, train on one skill. It doesn't matter kung mag-attend ka ng training, magre-request ka ng one-on-one, or magse-self-educate ka, or actually pa-practice mo yung skill na yon. Pero dapat, every day, you're actually investing on one skill. Sample, as you can notice, the first word on every item is a verb. Para at least malinaw na agad kung ano yung gagawin mo. Attend a training. So, hindi ka naman na manguhula. Get a one-on-one coaching session or watch a training video. So it's something na pwede mong ilagay sa small notebook mo para malinaw na malinaw sa'yo ano ba yung kailangan mo ma-accomplish on that specific hour. Okay, number two, practice doing the skills. Output activities. Ito yung mga activities na pwedeng ilagay mo din sa ano mo, sa notebook mo, prospecting, inviting, presentations, lalo na kapag nasa working stage ka na, kailangan magawa mo yan lahat. Sample, get two lock schedules Sell three sell essentials. Again, the first word of every item is a verb. So para malinaw agad kung ano yung gagawin mo. Plus, merong specific na focused na outcome. Kasi nakalagay dyan, lock two skids. Meaning, for di ba, for all intents and purposes, huwag kang uuwi hanggat hindi ka nakakapag-invite ng dalawa. Bakit? Sa work, ganun din naman. Hanggat hindi natin natatapos yung work natin, hindi rin naman tayo uuwi. Dito, negosyo natin to. Ikaw yung yayaman. Ikaw yung kikita. So, dapat, 
mas matindi, mas mataas yung commitment mo na hindi ka talaga papayag, na hindi, uh, na, hindi lilipas yung isang araw na wala kang lax kids, na wala kang nabenta, na wala kang nag, na, nagawa na, 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 for example, na follow up mo yung two guests na napresentan sa Hakot the following day, di ba? So, iyan yung mga dapat na nakalagay sa notebook para at least alam mo kung talagang nagawa mo siya o hindi. Di ba? Kasi mahirap naman na nakalagay diyan chat for two hours. Di ba? Chat prospects for two hours. So, hindi mo alam kung natap, may, may na-accomplish ka ba o wala. So, dapat merong specific targeted na output. Okay. And as you go through the day, um, I, it's better to tick those tasks na natapos mo na. Bakit? Para makita mo kung malapit ka na bang matapos dun sa mga nagagawa mo, tapos pag nakikita mo na unti-unti mo siyang nache-checkan, it will actually more motivate you more. Kapag nakikita, oy, natatapos ka na. It's something it that has something to do with the, the psychology eh, na pag natitikan mo yung mga dapat mong magawa, lalo kang nagiging lalo kang ginaganahan kasi natatapos mo eh. 'Di ba? Pag lalo kang ginanahan, lalo mo siyang gagawin. Ngayon pag talagang ginanahan ka na ng ginanahan, makikita mo even before 6 PM tapos mo na lahat ng task. Now you will feel now you will feel good about yourself. Now, before you sleep, gagawa ka na naman ng mas magandang list to do things to do, di ba? Dadamihan mo kasi alam mo, kaya mo pala siyang gawin eh. Di ba? Kaya mo pa siya lang tapusin. So, dadagdagan mo siya. Ngayon, pag hindi mo natapos, then you, have, you need to readjust. Okay. Focus on one task at a time. So, hindi na po uso ang multitasking today. So, actually, research have shown na mas effective po ang tao kapag talagang nakakonsentrate siya sa isang task lang. Hindi yung nagmumultitask ka, you will actually give 50% of your attention here and 50% of your attention there. Ang ending natin, wala tayong nagawang talagang quality na na output. So, it is actually better to focus on one task at a time. Example, for, meron training, tapos meron kang prospect na kinakausap, di ba? Nag-i-invite ka, at the same time, nagte-training ka. So, basically, wala kang naiintindihan sa training at hindi mo naman siya na-invite kasi nga, kalahati yung attention mo. Now, it's actually better to attend the training one hour, wala kang magagawin, you'll just learn. And then after that, invite in mo siya. Then you will have 100 undivided attention doon sa guest mo. Now, mas mataas yung magiging batting average mo nun. Kasi 100% yung focus mo eh. Diba? Multitasking is a thing of a past. So, kailangan na natin talaga yung focus mo talagang nasa certain task lang. Yan. Another tip, batching schedule. So, what do I mean by batching schedule? For example, um, pumupunta ka sa office. Yan, kaway-kaway pag para sa mga uplines na ginagawang taga-claim ng AO ng downlines, di ba? So, type 5 nga kung nakaka-relate ka na uplines tayo, tas, tayo yung taga-claim <laughs> ng mga auto-orders ng mga downlines. Ayan. <laughs> Alam ko, maraming nakaka-relate pero that's okay. Ganyan talaga. It's part of the process na ganyan din naman tayo, di ba? Nung nagsisimula tayo, si upline din yung claim ng products natin. Pero anyway, do batching schedule. For example, in my weekly schedule, dalawang beses lang ako pumunta ng office. One on the, on, early on the week, yun yung mga para sa urgently needed na products. And then one in the Saturday afternoon or Friday. Para sabay na rin sa cut-off, di ba? So, dalawang beses lang. Kasi guys, imagine, every, kung every time may order sa'yo, pupunta ka ng office, ubus na araw mo. Yun pa lang. Diba, biyahe sa office, pila doon, tapos uwi, malakas umubos ng oras yon. Also, going to LBC, pagpapadala ng products, do a batching schedule as well. Na sa isang linggo, dalawang beses ka lang din pupunta ng LBC. Kasi, eh, hindi, kumbaga, kung every time may order sa'yo, punta ka LBC, diba? Eh, medyo <laughs> mauubos oras mo doon. So, do batching schedule. Yung mga, mga task, do, you do it on by batches. Okay, and also, don't forget to give yourself mini breaks. Kasi po, tao din tayo, we live in, <laughs> di ba, katawang lupa po ito, hindi po ito robot na hindi napapagod. So, I remember when I was in 2018, talagang iyon yung, yung building years ko, I usually get burnt out once every other month kasi talagang wala pong tigil. Paggising sa umaga hanggang pagtulog sa gabi, even Sunday na break, day off ko talagang walang tigil. So, it, it really comes this burnt out uh, uh, period pero mini breaks lang kaya nga lagi ko diyan mini caps lock pa di ba para excuse me para at least makabalik ka agad 
sa sa kasi pag na-burn out ka ibig sabihin you're continuously doing the business ibig sabihin you're in the zone nasa momentum ka ng paggawa ng business ibig sabihin pwede mo siyang pwede kang mag-break lang ng konti tapos balik agad ulit kasi baka mamaya mawala yung momentum eh okay and at the end of the day audit tingnan mo yung list of tasks mo alin doon yung mga nagawa mo alin doon yung mga hindi now it's okay kung sa first time mo siya gagawin, kung nagsisimula ka pa lang siya gagawin itong list of tasks na to, kung nagsisimula ka pa lang, it's okay na hindi mo siya natapos. Again, it's part of the process. Hindi lahat ng gagawin mo dito sa iyo sana, perfect agad. Diba? So, okay lang yan kung mga first day, hindi mo siya natatapos. No? Pero, the next day, that will be your top priority na tapusin. Bakit? Do not create a habit of making a list at not following through. Kasi magiging habit siya. Diba, magiging habit siya, nagagawa ka ng listahan, tapos hindi mo din susundin. So, that is actually a very bad habit, diba? So, wag mo siyang gawing habit. Kapag may sinulat ka, tapusin mo. Anyway, ikaw din naman yung nag-decide kung anong dapat mong tapusin, diba? Meaning, sinulat mo siya dyan, hindi lang for fun. Sinulat mo siya dyan because at, at that point of the day, inisip mo na importante siya. Okay? Okay. So, this is actually the time management quadrants. is actually... Uh, a guiding guiding tool para malaman natin kung ano ba talaga yung mas importante. Okay. Urgent, not urgent, important, and not important. Okay. Para dun sa mga nasa quadrant 3, which is not important and not urgent, eliminate or minimize. Diba? For example, Mobile Legends. Important ba yung Mobile Legends? Hindi. Urgent ba siya? Hindi. So, dapat eliminate mo siya. Tama? K-drama, di ba? Kaway-kaway sa mga mahilig sa K-drama. <laughs> so, important ba siya? Hindi, di ba? Tapos, urgent ba siya? Hindi rin. So, eliminate or at least minimize kung talagang hindi kaya. Okay. Now, let's go to quadrant 4. Not important pero urgent. In, in this case, pwede mo siyang i-delegate if possible. Ito yung mga errands, di ba? For example, dishes or uh, grocery. Im hindi siya masyado importante pero urgent siya kasi hindi ka kakain pag wala kang food, di ba? So, if it's possible, if you can delegate it to others, better para ma-free up mo yung time mo. Okay. Now, dito maraming nalilito kung anong quadrant daw yung dapat na bigyan ng importance. Now, nakikita nyo na yung sagot ko, quadrant 2 yung dapat na priority. Yung importante pero hindi urgent. Okay. Let me give you an example. Exercise. Importante ba ang exercise? Type nyo nga yung sagot nyo sa chat box. Importante ba ang exercise? So alam ko nagsa-type kayo nagta-type kayo ng yes, di ba? Okay, next question. Do you think exercise is urgent? Urgent ba siya na talagang kailangan mong gawin now? Di ba hindi? So important pero not urgent, dapat iyon yung priority mo na ilagay sa list to do mo. Bakit? Kung hindi ka mag-exercise ng buong taon, nagkasakit ka, now the task will be the task will shift into getting well. Yung getting well important siya tas urgent. Diba? Yung urgent quadrant kasi, yung quadrant 1, it's mostly about crisis management, kumbaga yung mga bagay na nag-evolve na, 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 na siya into a problem kasi hindi mo siya inagapan. Another example, preparing for a presentation the next week. Important? Yes. Urgent? Hindi pa, kasi next week pa eh. Pero pag hindi mo siya binigyan ng priority ngayon at mamaya ng 2 hours to go na lang, tas presentation mo na, Bigla siyang magiging important and urgent. So as you can see, yung quadrant 1, ito yung crisis management na lang eh. So imagine if your entire day is just crisis management. Meaning, hindi, ka, hindi mo hawak, wala kang control sa araw mo. Kasi all you're doing is being reactive. You're just reacting to whatever comes to your day. So that's not actually being intentional kung ano yung gusto mong mangyari sa araw mo. Kasi pagdating nitong crisis na to, i-manage mo lang siya, di ba? So it's better to actually give as much time doon sa quadrant 2. Kasi the more time you give to quadrant 2, the less quadrant 1 you will have. Okay? And sabi ko nga, at the end of the day, you decide what occupies it. Diba? Ikaw pa rin mag-decide niyan. Wala pong makakapag, uh, wala po talagang makakapag uh, dikta sa'yo kasi business po ito. Wala pong makakapag dikta sa'yo kung anong gagawin mo. But then, you, you need to ask yourself, will, will those activities lead you to your dreams? 
Magre-resulta ba yung mga ginagawa natin sa araw-araw sa pangarap natin? That's something again that only you can answer. So you need to be self-conscious about your day. So dito po, ang, ito yung pala yung nakikita magandang quote to eh. You can't have a million dollar dreams with a minimum wage work ethic. So dito po sa iyo sana, hindi po dito basihan kung magiging diamond ka, kung magaling ka magsilita, kung magaling ka mag-network, kung magaling ka ma- 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 marami kang friends, marami kang malaki network mo. No, it's not really the deciding factor if you will become a diamond director or not. Work ethic pa rin po. Work ethic talaga. Hindi po talaga yun basihan. And it's been proven a lot of times na marami na tayong kilala na dati wala na masyadong kakilala, hindi na marunong mag-public speaking, but now they can actually, they're actually uh, successful in the business. It is because impeccable talaga yung work ethic nila. As in, pag nakita mo silang trumabaho, talagang walang butas. The common denominator among all successful people, people are their ability to delay gratification. Meron pong study that was done in the past. Ito po yung talagang pinaka-common denominator of them all. Delayed gratification. And again, seriously guys, ilang success stories po ba yung kailangan nating madinig para matanggap na yung success talaga natin, kailangan nating daanan yung proseso, kailangan nating daanan yung struggle years. I mean, seriously, ilang success stories po ba yung kailangan nating madinig para talaga matanggap sa sarili natin na kailangan talagang daanan yung, yung building phase, eh, yung sacrifice phase. Eh. Hindi pwedeng shortcut, hindi pwedeng laktawan. And at the end of the day, it's a battle between the inspired version of you and the inspired version of you. Minsan, hindi po tayo pagod after umuwi galing work, uninspired lang tayo. So kailangan natin inspire yung sarili natin to actually do the work and actually the 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 question the main question here is pwede naman natin talagang makuha lahat eh ng gusto natin makuha dito sa business na to the only question is how bad do you want it gaano mo siya ka gusto and thank you for attending this uh, training If you can follow me on Facebook, that is my Facebook account, Sagada Rojas Marquina Jr. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am, for inviting me. And hopefully, meron kayo natutunan on my talk tonight. Um, remember, tonight, uh, tapusin niyo yung to-do list niyo for tomorrow para at least conscious kayo kung ano yung mangyayari tomorrow. Diba? You decide. You'll be intentional about your day tomorrow. Thank you, ma'am. Yan. Thank you very much, Isagani. No? Uh, ang dami nating natutunan the, um, tonight with our Ruby director. And uh, we know that time management is really a very important uh, um, detail or important na matter sa ating USANA business. No? If we do not manage our time, then tayo talaga ang kakainin ng... ng, uh, ng mag, uh, ano, mag, uh, magpa-pile up yung ating mga mga responsibilities. Ayan. So, uh, thank you very much, Isagani. And I hope we added value to your evening. Um, to our Yusana family, thank you for um, spending your one hour with us to learn and to really um, discover no, yung mga bagong trainings, uh, bagong learnings natin with our uh, speakers tonight. So, with that, maraming salamat po and God bless everyone. See you tomorrow for another um, online business series about time management. Yung key elements of time management, which will be shared to us by our executive goal director, Joseph Costello. Ayan. Thank you very much. Good night, everyone. God-